Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install Azure Storage Explorer on Windows operating systems. We have two types of Azure Storage Explorers. I have connected to Azure portal with my credentials, then click on storage accounts, then click on any of the storage account. See here, we have the storage browser. Storage, click on storage browser. See here, we have the blob containers, file shares, queues and tables to install storage explorer on windows we have to click on this download azure storage explorer click on it see here it is used to upload download and manage azure storage blobs files and etc okay so click on this download then select the type of operating systems we can install on windows mac and linux also so click on the windows x64 and see here it's a size is 128 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See, download is completed. Click on open file. Select the option. Click on install for all users. Select this. I accept the agreement and click on install. See, it requests .NET 8. So, check the checkbox to install .NET 8. And click on next. See, first it is installing .NET 8. See, now it is asking us the destination location. Select it by clicking on browse. Otherwise, this is the default location. Click on next. This will be the name in the menu folder. Okay, click on next. And see here, version of the Azure Storage Explorer is 1.1.34. We have successfully installed. If you go to start all programs, all applications, see here we have the Azure Storage Explorer. You can click on this one or just keep the checkbox launch Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer. Check the checkbox and click on finish. It automatically opens. Click on it. Let me maximize this one. See here it is loading. If you expand storage accounts, Expand containers, blob, see we don't have any containers. So for that we have to connect to Azure subscription by clicking on this open connection, open connect dialog. Click on it, select the subscription, then select the Azure, then click on next. Select the account, see authenticated, you can return to Visual Studio. You might need to authenticate again if you close this browser. Okay, so don't close it. See. Now this is the connection information. See now it has selected the default directory. See if you go to blob directories, see we haven't found anything. Okay, in storage also if you right click refresh, see we don't have anything. See now we are unable to find the any subscription. So we have to to get this subscription, we have to click on unfilter. Click on reauthenticate. Authentication is success. Wait, it is going to sign in again. See, this is the subscription. Sub we have successfully connected to subscription. Now, if you go to here, tabs, refresh all. See, we got the all the like. See, these are the resource groups. And see here, in storage account, I have the this storage account. And if you go to blob containers, expand it see i have these blob containers if you go to the you go to storage account containers let me hide see we have the same containers as here okay so in this video we have seen how to install and configure the azure storage explorer on windows 10 or 11 operating systems for more azure videos please subscribe my channel thank you